Hey guys, welcome to another video. We're Philly and Keely, and for the last two years we've lived in our self-converted van, Martha. And this year we've taken her all the way across Europe into Turkey where we spent the last three months. And it was incredible. We made lots of new friends and amazing memories. But in last week's video you've seen it was time for us to hit the road. And today we make our journey into Albania, catch up with some other friends on the road, have an encounter with an Albanian we police man. Have a police escort right now. But then make our journey into Italy where things start to go south. We put like all this positive energy into the world and it's all got sucked up into a pit of despair here. Like everyone's, everyone's raging. I don't know what's happening, it was so stressful. So join us to see if we make it to Spain. Good morning. Good morning everybody. I set my alarm for sunrise. I did wake up for it. I looked out the window and thought that looks so beautiful. <laughs> Let's get and back to bed. Got back in bed and cuddled for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a beautiful spot. So I'm glad that we decided to come this route via this little pin. Yeah. Oh, and also, apparently you need a different type of insurance for Albania and we don't have any. So we're gonna have to try and buy that at the border too. <laughs> Guys, we don't make our life easy at Borders, do we? <laughs> Ready to go? Let's hit the road, Jack. We gotta hit the road, we've got this border cross. Big journey ahead of us as well. We're looking to get to like Duras pretty much tonight. Or yep. Tirana at least. We're looking to drive pretty much the whole length and width of Albania. Okay team, we're pulling up to the border now. Our tests are still valid for another like 20 minutes. <laughs> we'll send out positive vibes and hopefully the world will reciprocate. Yeah, send them right back to us. Sure. Okay, we better turn the camera off. Do you think I need yours or passports? Mm -hmm. Should be there. Yeah. Are they? No. Oh. For Albania, can we buy it here? Where do we buy it? So we buy it in Albania. Okay. Don't bite your nails, everything is fine. Everything is fine, everything is fine. Thank you. So we're out of Greece and now we're in no man's land. Have you hidden the people? <laughs> no, I have not. It's okay, we'll look feral. I feel sorry for something. It's okay. Fingers crossed. I just went on autopilot and just woke up five minutes later in, in Albania. Uh, in Albania they just forced you to buy it at the border but they didn't seem to do that so I think they're okay. Okay, awesome. Now the hard part, get the ferries. We put the good vibes out and good vibes came back. Come on. Yeah. Albania, so far, beautiful mountain ranges, beautiful lake. It's just so beautiful isn't it? Wow. Mountains, kissed with snow. Guys, what the heck? We're literally like right on the edge of the water. This is so beautiful. I can't believe this. Look at these guys. Hello, everybody. Hey, yeah. Hey, friends. You just want to eat my hand, don't you? <laughs> hey, yeah. Albanian drivers are the worst drivers that we have faced so far, hands down. With Turkey, there was cause just these like unwritten rules that you just kind of worked out when you were driving there. Yeah, it wasn't like bad driving, it was just an unfamiliar style of driving. But here, like we've been on the road for half a day and we've had more near misses in this past six hours than we've had in the last six months. People are impatient, man, like in a way that I've just not experienced before. Like people just drive, just drive out, don't even look. This guy's trying to get out, this guy's out. Yeah, there's a car, but that other car's name, she's pulled out in front of it, so. But what's going on? 
driving into other people. Some dude's did a U turn. Hey, this guy, you can see this one. He says, What? Flipping monster truck here? Have you? Such a whoa. Very chaotic. He's got his hazards on, as if he's so he abandoned, and then he just starts driving out. Oh my god, what is he doing? Bloody hell. So, we were planning to head to Tirana, go to a campsite, and get some editing done. But this has been one big journey of changing plans, because we've decided, instead of going to a campsite, we're going to drive up the mountains, to try and catch our friends Charlie and Dale from Climb and Van. They're leaving Albania tonight. We decided, hey guys, we're only a few hours from you. Why not drive up some crazy mountain roads, you know, and do the complete opposite of what we were planning to do. Climb and Van did whoa, warn me, I'm gonna whiplash, that these were roads were quite bumpy. These are something else. They're so busy. Like normally windy country roads, it's just you and you don't meet anyone, but we are constantly meeting cars, trucks, and giant lorries. Oh my goodness. Pretty warn me that you're gonna keep driving. Driving. I hop in the back to try and shut this cupboard. Look at this cupboard, it's on the edge of potential doom. And you just keep driving. Look at that cute little river down there. First breakers, I've hit the dirt. I've hit the dirt. Right. Our cushions have hit the dirt. I've hit the dirt. Everything's hit the dirt. Back to probably the worst road we've ever driven in this van. Yeah, that looks good. Cool. Hopefully that makes it worth it, right? Oh, it will definitely make it worth it. seen their van in person. Look how fancy Ringo is. Wow. You're gonna look up where this wall is that we can climb. Philly said I'm away to check this climbing out. Like I'm thinking like he's just gonna walk away for two to five minutes. I don't know where he is. I went out looking for him shouting like a crazy person. Look I see him. See him there? Where were you? <laughs> you told me to go scout it out. Yeah I didn't know you scouted out for quite so check long. this place? I know, isn't it What's nice and tidy? here? Holy crap, is this a different van? Did we get a uh, Charlie and Dale's van? <laughs> Just look at this place. Look how fab does this look. Did you check that photo there now? Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. That is so cute. Okay, I'm keen to climb. Come on here, photographer extraordinaire. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> you excited? Yeah, of course. Guys, we had no intention of getting any climbing done when we were here. We thought we were just going to have to like work. And we really should be working. But I'm so chuffed we're doing this. It's like those guys are in the same country. You can't not go see them. And we've all talked for so long about meeting up to climb. So even though we're not actually climbing with them, they're off doing some super hard climb, but it's cool that we're in the same climbing area. I'm really out of breath now, so I'm gonna have to give you the filly. Catch. Hello. Let's go climb. You all right? Yeah. It was awesome to finally meet these guys and we feel like we could have chatted for hours but they need to head off to Montenegro and we have to climb up this wall and get the gear before it's dark. So our ferry is booked on Sunday night which means we've got two days here. We have sugar tons of work to do because we want to upload our video on Sunday morning before we have to catch the ferry and then we'll make our way to Italy and continue this journey. We've like 12 hours in Italy to get our ferry to Spain and then we get our ferry to Spain and then we drive down and then have to get tests and everything and it's all like yeah. ah. Everything's very precise. Mm -hmm. You know if anything goes wrong uh, we're pretty screwed. Yeah. <laughs> um, thankfully up until this point like this has been 
you know i'm gonna touch some wood somewhere yeah. like this has been the easiest journey so far like it's the board so the two borders that we've, we've crossed through have been like the most chillest borders ever mm -hmm. but anyway before we get some work done let us show you this view Well, is it worth it? I mean, the view is absolutely incredible and we have no water, no coffee. So, Philly says he's found a water source. Yeah, we just went for a walk, just like 100 metres up here, and found this random hose that's just pumping out water. We'll boil the shit out of it, so it'll be alright. We haven't died yet, so... I mean, it's coming from the restaurant, I think. Yeah, via this really, really, really long hose. Let us know if you think this is drinking water. I mean, no one's going to think it's drinking water, but the reality is, guys, we've drank from very questionable water sources pretty much the entire time we've lived in the van. We got water, baby! Uh, hello, baby lamb. Hello, baby goats. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, my word, so cute. And look at that sun in that winger. Where we were parked up in the mountains the sun went behind the mountain like literally at about 2 p.m mm -hmm. then we stopped getting solar and we wanted to work into the night so we're at this campsite but on the way to the campsite we stopped at a shop and guys they had really good coffee since january oh my word look at my space buns oh my goodness how cute am i i've not seen these in person <laughs> anywho since january I have not had a good coffee. Are you blocking at my face again? <laughs> so, I'm very excited. And you know, yes, I'm aware that there's probably good coffee in Turkey as well, but we just didn't find it. <laughs> I'm trying to dual wield here. All right, he's ready. This man Smell test. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so much better than instant nice cafe. <laughs> oh my goodness. Lavaza, if you're watching, please sponsor us. Oh man, be, please send us free coffee and sponsor us. That'd be sick. Look how buzzed I am. I could have this in all of our shots and just, you know. Oh, so good, man. Let's get stuck back into the edit because I already feel buzzed from one sip of good coffee. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of work to do. So we've managed to make our way to Durez and now we're just kind of waiting outside, biding our time until the check-in opens. We hope that we have everything that we need. Over here? Do they know we're not cargo? I know, I think we wait. Barry! I don't know what's happening. Neither do I. Some gent just came to me and gave me this page. They're gonna scan your vehicle. You need to go to the terminal and get your check-in. Ticket, terminal, terminal ticket. Motorbike, scanner, finish ticket. Okay. Finish. He's gonna take care of Sorry, no, he's getting on a motorbike and then we're gonna uh, follow him. Okay, okay, arriva, arriva. So we just had to go into that terminal and you can see behind Philly. So, and they didn't ask us any COVID related stuff. So I think this must be all about getting out of Albania, getting into Italy. That'll be where all that stuff is. Fingers crossed we're okay. We're just waiting for the policeman that escorted us over here to come back and he's then back. show us where to go. He seems stern, but like soft inside. We actually have a police escort right now. I have no idea where we're going, Philly. I have no idea what's happening. Yeah, maybe just because we look so lost. Uh, we are very lost. After that van, we're going to go into this big machine. Oh, it's a massive brick bridge thing. It's yeah, it's that's... scanning the whole van. We're getting a 3D scan of our van. Do you think they can print it out for us? <laughs> so our van must have passed the scan because the scanner guy gave this police guy our documents. You can see he's holding them there. Or and now we're following him again. He's leading us straight to an Albanian prison. I mean, I have no idea what's going on. How was the scan? Very good. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, we got a little piece of paper with a stamp on it. Oh, everyone's super nice, so. Thank you. Perfect. That's it. Got a universal thumbs up. Hello. Hello. First, please, when you come back, bring with you the ticket and the Corona test and PLF. So now we have to go and do all this check and stuff that's for us. All of that was just for the van. Bye, Martha. Stay safe. Kiwi, we're actually on the... No, she's just looked at her documents. She's like, yeah, these guys know they're at. Let's go. Let's go. Reception. They're waiting for us. Yeah, they're waiting for us. Okay, let's go. 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 Let's go.
I'm, I'm getting ready for bed. Oh. Just recording nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so the ferry didn't take off when it should have. We had a very tight time schedule to get off of this ferry and to the other ferry port for the ferry we wanted to catch. And because this left two hours later, it might not be till the next day, but we've only got 36 hours in Italy to transit and these ferries only go once a day. Everybody else has left. Everybody left so quickly. All right, kid. I'm just laughing. Look, I'm obviously still quite sleepy because I'm on the filly. What's that I stand for? Iceland? There's another car from Iceland. There's another car from Iceland. Where are we? I for Italy. <laughs> oh, you eat it. <laughs> Look, I haven't had my morning coffee. My brain's not fully alert. Okay. But we're in Italy. Thank you so much. Thank Have you. Day. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, everybody's lovely. I am not joking. Why is everyone so nice? This has been by miles our most chill journey home. One good border after another, after another, after another. When's it going to end? We've had no issues. It's a pretty None. good streak. Everybody and everybody's been so nice. All right, guys. We've got we've got coffee on the go, margarine croissants on the go. How happy are you right now? I mean, I definitely did a little dance in the in yeah, the littles. You did. did all the stuff that I haven't seen in ages. Cheap <laughs> so, wine. I'm so happy. Right, so we're gonna get some food and then we're gonna drive for a couple of hours. Because we have a massive journey ahead of us, so we got into Bari and we get in our ferry from Shiva Vecchio Vecchi this place. It's like six hours. Their ferries tonight, so we gotta make tracks. We got a toll road forever ago and I were pulling up to the place to pay Literally there. when we got off the ferry we got a, a ticket. There is a life I lead Ticket please! Did you see how much that was? Nope. <laughs> that was 34 euros. Yeah? Yeah. I was pretty, that's what I thought it would be. Ew. But we could have gotten no toll roads but then it would have taken us nine hours and we have to catch a ferry, so... Back in the road. Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on. Put me together, take me back... Uh, tensions are high. We're at the ferry port and we don't know what the name of the vessel is and it's all quite stressful. Should I walk over and see? Go for a walk, yeah. I'm staying with the van, is that all right? Yeah. Take the passports. So I have no idea what is happening right now. Is that a happy face or a sad face? Then you had me worried. I am. That was the worst, most stressful thing ever. What happened? I'm not joking, that was so stressful. That was really stressful. And lots of people were really angry and shouting and swearing and stuff. And like everyone was really grumpy. I was following some other guy who was also lost. When I finally get there, there's some guy going apeshit at the Grimaldi people. They're all like not dealing with him, so they all go out the back, so there's like no one there. And I'm just standing there and I'm like, I don't know what's happening. All I know is that like our check-in closes really soon and I'm not checked in and I don't have any paperwork. I don't even know what the f I have. I'm sorry for swearing, you can beep it out. I don't even know what this is. It's okay, that's obviously what we need. I don't know what's happening, it was so stressful. And I was just really annoyed that you weren't there and I was dealing with it alone and I know you were staying with the van. But I was just like, <laughs> I really wish this wasn't me doing this. In hindsight, I should have just left the van as well. There was a lady as well beside us that that came over and just burst into tears as well. Really? Yeah. Okay, so it's not just me. She's like, and there were a lot of people swearing, like this is very high tension feeling right now. Like, And, and then the police stopped there, the police stopped in front of one of the cars and wouldn't let them on. We put like all this positive energy into the world and it's all got sucked up into a pit of despair here. Like everyone's, everyone's raging. Like 
no one knows what's going on. You know, like in Albania, when we were like, thank goodness this guy came got us, because it was like a kilometer away to get like a little thing filled out. It was all really like, he was really helpful and helped us understand what was happening. No one's doing that here. There are people walking around everywhere in this port with no idea what they're doing. No signs. No signs. Let's just be clear. No signs. None. Just chain mail fences the whole way down. Were there any signs? None. None. I know I've just said that, so you're mocking me. But nothing! I'm just walking around a big shipyard with no idea what I'm doing! Quick update. We've literally been here for about two hours now. This is my third cup of tea. The other people around us also look like they're losing their minds. Yeah, they do. <laughs> like, ain't no one happy here. I might get the guitar out. There's a lot of stressful energy. We could do with it, maybe a sing-along. I learned the Come Pokemon. By, uh, no. Oh, the Pokemon. I learned the Pokemon theme tune on guitar, so we could we could do be that. The very best. Okay. No one on that ever. note, so people are moving. People are moving. I don't know what that means, but it means something. People are moving. Just waved us on. They just waved us on. Sorry, I got excited. <laughs> don't you get us like put in really the Italian prison this time? I don't really want to be in an Italian prison if it's as organised as this fairy court. <laughs> I'll probably not get fed for three days. This is like scary shit, aren't we? Morning. Morning, Calvin. Hi, everyone. Nice to have you in in life with us. Lovely. How much were those on the ship? Uh, 188. Whoa, we're not I know, I know. I know. Oh man, Wait, we're actually, we're actually in Spain. Oh baby, we're in Spain. Espanol, Espanol. We are in Espanol. Yeah, we've came back and they've smashed our van and it's been completely ransacked. They've went through everything. They've just got broken into. 